Welcome to the eerie world of Dracula's Daughter, a 1936 cinematic gem that continues the chilling narrative of the famed vampire saga. This sequel to the iconic Dracula tale brings forth a riveting exploration of horror, delving into the psychological torment and inner struggles of the Count's offspring. As the silver screen unfolds, one can't help but ponder the lasting impact of particular scenes or moments. Perhaps it's the haunting portrayal of a vampire's existential dilemma or the atmospheric tension that lingers in every frame. These elements invite contemplation on the complexities of the immortal existence portrayed in this classic. Delving deeper into the film, lesser known facts and anecdotes offer a fascinating glimpse behind the scenes. The production anecdotes, the challenges faced, or even the hidden nuances within the narrative add layers of intrigue to the overall experience, sparking curiosity and fascination among enthusiasts of the genre. Now, as we embark on this journey through cinematic history, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear your unique perspectives and connections to this timeless classic. So, what scene left an indelible mark on you? Or what hidden facts intrigued your curiosity? Your insights could unlock new dimensions to this haunting tale. Dracula's Daughter, a 1936 sequel to the iconic 1931 film Dracula, unfolds with a compelling narrative. The story continues after the demise of Count Dracula, introducing his enigmatic and alluring daughter, Countess Maria Zaleska, played by Gloria Holden. Seeking liberation from her vampiric curse, she grapples with her insatiable thirst for blood and the desire to break free from her father's legacy. The movie explores her struggles as she endeavors to resist her predatory nature and seeks a cure for her vampirism through modern psychiatry. Infused with gothic ambience and moody atmospheres, the film innovatively combines horror with psychological depth, marking a departure from its predecessor's straightforward horror approach. While the movie garnered moderate success upon release, its influence resonates through its portrayal of a conflicted vampire grappling with identity and morality. It contributed to the evolution of vampire lore on screen, showcasing the complexity and inner turmoil of these supernatural beings, setting a precedent for future explorations in the genre. Dracula's Daughter remains a testament to the enduring allure of vampire mythology and its impact on popular culture, captivating audiences with its thematic richness and atmospheric storytelling transcending the boundaries of its time, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. The 1936 movie Dracula's Daughter pushed boundaries for its time, featuring a scene hinting at unconventional themes. In a period where suggestive content was rare, the film subtly suggested elements of lesbianism. One notable instance was when the Countess invited a homeless young lady into her quarters, a scene considered daring considering the era's societal norms. This depiction added layers of complexity to the character dynamics, contributing to the movie's intrigue and challenging the status quo in cinema. The production of this film, among Universal's costliest in its era, had intriguing behind-the-scenes shifts. Despite Bella Lugosi's absence, photos of him with Gloria Holden on set exist. Interestingly, director Edward Sutherland was initially tapped but left due to delays, replaced by Lambert Hillier, known for directing B-Westerns. Sutherland's contract's unique terms and the subsequent directorial change affected the movie's dynamics and costs, shedding light on the intricate workings behind the scenes. The Countess in the film shares a modified version of a famous quote from Hamlet when discussing psychiatry. This adaptation of There Are More Things in Heaven and Earth, Horatio, than are dreamed of in your philosophy adds depth to the exploration of psychiatric approaches within the storyline. This movie draws inspiration from various literary sources like Bram Stoker's Dracula's Guest, a chapter excised from the original novel, and Sheridan Le Fanus' 1872 short story Carmilla. These literary connections contribute layers to the narrative, infusing the film with diverse influences. The adaptation's cast features interesting age dynamics. Edward Van Sloan, at 53, was only three years older than Otto Kruger, adding an intriguing aspect to the on-screen chemistry. These elements intertwine to create a narrative that delves into psychology, draws from classic literature, and plays with age dynamics in casting, offering viewers a multifaceted cinematic experience. 
1936 film Dracula's Daughter, a follow-up to the iconic Dracula, holds an intriguing backstory. Initially, the casting plans for the movie hinted at a different lineup. Bella Lugosi and Jane Wyatt were slated to lead, while Universal announced potential appearances by Boris Karloff and Colin Clive, promising a cast reminiscent of their roles in Frankenstein. Cesar Romero was also set to play a pivotal character, Dr. Garth. However, as production unfolded, the cast took a different turn, leading to the creation of a unique ensemble. This alternative casting trajectory hints at an entirely different cinematic experience that could have emerged. Gloria Holden's inclusion, repeating Lugosi's famous line during Lady Hammond's party, adds a layer of homage to the previous installment, aligning the narrative continuity within the broader legacy of the Dracula franchise. This casting evolution and the subtle nods to its predecessor enrich the film's depth, offering an alternate glimpse into the characters and the overall tone of the movie. The film's presence in the DVD box set of Dracula The Legacy Collection, released in 2004, solidifies its significance within the Dracula saga, ensuring its preservation as a valuable addition to the franchise's history. Originally, Jane Wyatt was cast as Lily, yet Universal switched to Nan Grey for contrast. In Hollywood's golden age, contrasting hair colors were favored for roles, especially villainesses. Wyatt, a brunette, contrasted less with the leading lady Gloria Holden. This shift highlights the industry's attention to visual dynamics and casting decisions, aiming for distinctive appearances between characters. This move not only impacted the film's aesthetics, but also contributed to shaping character portrayals, showcasing the studio's meticulousness in creating visual contrasts among key roles. This attention to detail in casting decisions remains a testament to the era's filmmaking considerations, emphasizing the importance of visual elements in storytelling. Takes place immediately after the events of Dracula. Dracula's Daughter, released in 1936, continued the storyline of the iconic 1931 film, picking up right after Count Dracula's demise. Rather than a direct adaptation, the film followed the aftermath introducing Countess Maria Zalska, Dracula's daughter, portrayed by Gloria Holden. Her struggles with her vampiric nature and desire to break free from her father's legacy formed the core of the narrative. However, the movie didn't initially follow this storyline. Initially, Universal aimed to create a sequel based on Bram Stoker's short story Dracula's Guest. Negotiations with Stoker's widow revealed a surprising detail about the original Dracula novel, a missed requirement rendered it public domain in the United States. Consequently, due to creative control concerns and Bella Lugosi's salary demands, John L. Balderston was hired to craft a new story. This turn of events shaped the direction of the sequel, leading to the creation of the film we know today. This sequel's immediate continuity with its predecessor marked a deliberate narrative choice, exploring the aftermath of Dracula's demise and introducing a new central character grappling with her vampiric inheritance, bringing a fresh perspective to the classic tale. As we part ways, I invite you to delve into the timeless allure of a certain vampiric tale that captivated audiences decades ago. The enigmatic charm of Dracula's daughter leaves an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape, beckoning us to ponder its mystique and the profound impact it holds. Have you found yourself enchanted by its eerie elegance or intrigued by the depths of its character's complexities? This film, a relic of the past yet resonant in its themes, often stirs sentiments that transcend eras. Perhaps it's the enigmatic portrayal of the undead or the subtle nuances in the narrative that linger within your thoughts. I encourage you to explore your memories, to unearth the emotions or insights this cinematic gem evoked within you. Your reflections on Dracula's daughter could be as haunting as the movie itself. Share your musings, your cherished moments, or the revelations that dawned upon you while under its spell. Let your thoughts intertwine with the enigmatic allure of this classic, creating a mosaic of perspectives that enriches its legacy. Thank you for embarking on this contemplative journey. Your engagement and unique perspective add a vibrant hue to our collective understanding of this cinematic masterpiece. Until our paths converge again, continue unraveling the mysteries that enchant your soul. Gratefully,